Tesla just leaked their most guarded secret, and it's not what you think. While everyone's fighting over lithium, Elon Musk has been quietly building something that could make every battery on Earth obsolete overnight. In the next few minutes, you'll discover Tesla's revolutionary aluminum-ion battery technology, how it's already being mass-produced in secret, and why this could trigger the biggest industrial shift since the invention of electricity. You'll also learn exactly how this affects you, from the phone in your pocket to the future of civilization itself. Welcome to Tesla Torch, where we uncover the innovations reshaping our world. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on breakthrough technologies, hit that like button and subscribe for more exclusive insights you won't find anywhere else. Right now, as you're watching this video, Tesla is executing one of the most ambitious manufacturing plans in human history. According to leaked internal documents from Gigafactory Nevada, Tesla isn't just planning to make aluminum-ion batteries, they're planning to produce 85 terawatt-hours of them annually by 2026. Let me put that number in perspective for you. The entire world currently produces about 28 terawatt-hours of lithium-ion batteries per year. Tesla alone plans to make three times that amount with aluminum-ion technology. This single production capacity could power 212 million Tesla Model 2 vehicles simultaneously. We're talking about reshaping the global energy landscape overnight. But here's what makes this even more incredible. Tesla isn't doing this alone. They're creating a quarter of a million high-paying jobs across the globe to make it happen. In North America... Gigafactory Texas will employ 35,000 workers at an average salary of $75,000. In Europe, they're planning facilities in Berlin, Poland and Spain that will employ 42,000 people. Mexico's new Monterey facility will create 28,000 direct jobs and 180,000 indirect jobs. Now, you might be wondering, why aluminum? Why not just make more lithium batteries? Here's the game changer. Aluminum is 1,500 times more abundant than lithium on Earth. While lithium mining devastates 500,000 acres of pristine land every year and drains water resources in already vulnerable regions, aluminum makes up 8.1% of our planet's crust. It's literally everywhere. But Tesla's real genius move is using recycled aluminum. They can take aluminum from soda cans, building materials and industrial waste and turn it into batteries with 98 0.5% efficiency retention. Think about it. Your next Tesla could literally be powered by the Coke can you threw away last week. Tesla is turning everyday trash into the energy storage that could power our entire civilization. And here's the strategic masterstroke. Tesla is building this global network to break free from the stranglehold of traditional battery supply chains. Instead of competing directly with Chinese manufacturers in their own backyard, Tesla is establishing facilities in India, Thailand, and South Korea. They're creating an entirely new supply chain that no one else controls. But aluminum-ion batteries aren't just about making better cars. They're about completely transforming how we live. Let's start with what's coming to your driveway. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 will be the first mass-market vehicle to use aluminum-ion technology. This car will have a 75-kilowatt-hour battery pack that delivers 520 miles of EPA-rated range while weighing 60% less than current lithium batteries. Here's the kicker. Tesla can manufacture this battery for just $2,800, compared to $8,400 for lithium-ion. That means they can sell the Model 2 for $22,000 and still maintain a 40% profit margin. But it gets even better. The Model 3 Highland coming in 2026 will get 680 miles of range and weigh 8 hull, 190 pounds less than current models. The Model Y will cost $8,000 less than today's version while delivering 630 miles of range. Then there's the Tesla Semi. By Q4 2026, this truck will travel 1,200 miles on a single charge, charged to 80% capacity in just 15 minutes, and save companies $127,000 annually in fuel costs per vehicle. This isn't just an improvement. It's the complete elimination of diesel dependency in long-haul trucking. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Tesla isn't stopping at cars. 
Remember the rumors about the Pi phone? It's real, and it's powered by aluminum ion micro batteries that can handle 250,000 recharge cycles without significant degradation. That means a phone battery that could last 50 years while maintaining 95% of its original capacity. Compare that to your current iPhone, which starts losing capacity after just 500 cycles. The Pi phone will retail for $480 less than half the price of a $1,200 iPhone, while offering vastly superior longevity. Imagine never having to worry about battery degradation again. The Pi tablet pushes this even further. Thanks to aluminum ion's energy density of 3,200 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to lithium's 250, this tablet will run for 96 hours of continuous use while weighing 55% less than current tablets. But Tesla's vision goes beyond personal devices. They're reimagining every appliance in your home. Picture a refrigerator that runs for 15 years without ever connecting to the electrical grid, powered entirely by ambient temperature differentials and minimal solar input. Washing machines, air conditioners, and cooking appliances, all running on integrated aluminum ion batteries. In industrial applications, this technology enables excavators, bulldozers, and mining equipment to operate continuously for 72 hours without stopping. Companies using this equipment will save $127,000 annually per machine by eliminating diesel fuel costs entirely. But what I'm about to tell you might sound like science fiction, except it's already in development. Tesla is about to revolutionize air travel with aluminum ion technology. Current jet engine is operated only 35% efficiency, wasting most of their energy as heat. Aluminum ion batteries with their 95% efficiency and energy density of 3200 watt hours per kilogram finally make electric aircraft competitive with jet fuel. Tesla's Project Thunderbird is developing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft capable of flying 4,500 miles on a single charge. That's enough for transatlantic flights. These aircraft can recharge in just 12 minutes using Tesla's 2.5 megawatt charging infrastructure, compared to the 45 to 90 minutes required for jet fuel refueling. The economic impact is staggering. Airlines could cut operating costs by 87% and reduce ticket prices by 70%, saving the entire aviation industry $153 billion annually. Imagine flying from New York to London for less than the cost of a current domestic flight. But here's Tesla's most radical application of aluminum ion technology. Complete energy independence for individual households. The Tesla Tiny House is a self-sufficient mobile living pod designed to operate entirely off-grid. Each unit contains 750 kilowatt hours of storage, enough to power a 3,000 square foot home for six weeks without any external power source. These homes integrate 15 kilowatts of solar collection, atmospheric water generation producing 50 gallons per day, complete waste recycling, air purification, climate control, and high-speed internet. The projected retail price? $89,000 for the complete system. Compare that to the average American home price of over $400,000, plus monthly utility bills, property taxes, and mortgage payments. The Tesla Tiny House eliminates all of that while providing complete energy independence. Tesla plans to manufacture 3.22 million units annually by 2029, potentially liberating 50 million Americans from housing debt entirely. Think about what this means. No more electric bills. No more gas bills. No more water bills. No more mortgage payments that consume half your income for 30 years. Complete freedom to live anywhere, work from anywhere, and never worry about utility costs again. This technology enables is something even more profound, the foundation for interplanetary civilization. When Tesla sends the first permanent colonies to Mars, aluminum ion batteries will power their habitats, vehicles, and life support systems using resources available on the Martian surface. But the transformation happening right here on Earth might be even more significant. The $63 billion lithium mining industry faces potential extinction as aluminum ion technology scales up. 
Regions dependent on lithium and cobalt mining will need to transition to new economic models, while countries rich in aluminum resources will find themselves at the center of the new energy economy. This isn't just about better batteries. It's about fundamentally restructuring how human civilization generates, stores, and uses energy. We're witnessing the transition from scarcity-based energy systems to abundance-based systems. From centralized utility companies controlling your power supply to complete individual energy independence. The challenges are real. Scaling production to 85 terawatt hours annually requires unprecedented coordination and investment. Existing industries will face disruption. Governments will need to adapt regulations. Workers in traditional energy sectors will need retraining and new opportunities. But the potential benefits are extraordinary. Cleaner air in our cities. Energy independence for billions of people. The end of fossil fuel dependency. Affordable transportation and housing for everyone. The foundation for sustainable civilization that could last millennia. Tesla's aluminum ion revolution isn't just coming. It's already here. The question isn't whether this transformation will happen, but how quickly you'll adapt to the new world it's creating. The age of aluminum ion has begun, and everything is about to change. If this glimpse into the future fascinated you, make sure you're subscribed to Tesla Torch with notifications on. We'll be following every development in this revolutionary technology as it unfolds. And let us know in the comments, which application of aluminum ion batteries excites you most? The 50-year phone battery, the off-grid tiny house, or something else entirely? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.